Hey everybody, it's Kika, your lifestyle blogger. And I didn't have time to do a video of when I was putting everything together, but I did do some redecorating in the RV that I wanna tell you all about. So the first thing started with the living room area. If you guys do remember from past videos, I had paper shades here. And we went when we went on our last camping trip, paper shades did not work at all. They started to fall apart and it just wasn't working. And my guests wanted to be able to look out of the window. And so these curtains actually work a lot better because you can open them and then they also are UV protected so it keeps out the sunlight so it won't get so hot inside the RV. So that works wonderfully. So I put these curtains on this side of the window and then I added them also to this side of the window. And then later as I was thinking, we had a beautiful door on the bedroom and so as you kept opening it and closing it to get to the bathroom and things the track started to mess up and the door just absolutely did not work so what I decided to do after talking to my boyfriend is get curtains for this area now it more than separates each space so the curtains are right here so you're entering the living room area and you can actually close this area off and just kind of have it like that so you only have your kitchen and your living room area here exposed then if you open it up it's kind of nice because you got this enclosed space in here where the shower is on this side and the bathroom is on that side so you get a little bit more privacy but then when you walk through you walk through to the bedroom area which is also giving it a little bit more privacy so I absolutely love it um, I think this is the best way to go I still have yet to tackle the ceiling. I'm going to redo that area too. But I just wanted to give you a quick peek of what I've done as far as redesigning and decorating the interior space of the RV. And then another thing that we've done, and I don't think you've seen this as well, um, it was getting a lot of sunlight inside of the RV and it was getting very warm. And so because we're hooked up to house power, we can't use the air conditioner. So we have a lot of fans going in here, but it was still getting a little too hot. So now the way we keep the heat out is we opened up the awning. And so we have the awning fully open, as you can see. And then we went ahead and put the table and chairs out here. But the awning, I'm going to walk back a little bit, keeps the sunlight from keeps it a little shaded in the sunlight from actually hitting the windows directly and so it works out very very nicely and I absolutely love it I say that for everything that I really like don't I I absolutely love it but I do it works out really nice and so uh, just wanted to show you a couple of things I still have my computer sitting on this table um, but my son is going to be working on my computer area up here. I just haven't got to that space yet to kind of fix it up, but I am doing a mobile office and that'll be in this front cab area. So this table will be totally free. Um, and then I'm working on a few other things for st far as storage and things like that goals that I'm thinking about. I've been watching a lot of RV videos lately and thank you so much for all of you who are creating RV videos. I do watch your videos and they are very handy and helpful for me in my own RV and in my own endeavors and things that I'm learning. I am bar by far not an expert in this. I absolutely love RV in it, and I started doing that probably about a, a year and a half ago, but it has been a journey, and a fun journey indeed. I'm learning a lot as I go and along the way. Um, as you can see, this curtain behind me, I like that because it separates the cab area, and it doesn't distract the driver when they're driving. So there's some other things that I have to do to totally perfect this RV, but what I've done so far, I like. As you can see, the patterns of the curtains and the what I have on the tile of the wall, they're not matching, but they don't have to be. As long as they're in the same color family, that's what you want because you want to have a little bit of contrast and color, but you want it to be cohesive inside your RV. So I like the cohesive look, but I like it to be different and it's really separate the space. And when you're in such a tiny space, this is like a tiny house, um, it's good to have that. So anyway, the ceiling is my next thing that I'm going to tackle. I am thinking that I'm gonna go dark on the ceiling um, because I just like it that way um, because I'm gonna keep my walls light. And then I like the furniture light 
I keep that light as well. So lots to do, lots more videos coming up. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, I ask you to do so. I'm over 100 subscribers. So now I can finally take the time and personalize my channel. Thank you so much for all of you who last subscribed. I believe the last time I looked, I had 97 subscribers. And then I looked again and I had 101 subscribers. So I'm so excited and so happy about it. And I have so much that I want to share with you guys. I am so energetic and I have so many things that I am planning and that's coming up in the near future. Like my mobile restaurant business that I'm starting called Hot Potato. Uh, that's something that I'm going to tell you guys about very soon here. If you're my Facebook friend, you probably already know about it. If not, I will be creating a video about that adventure that's going to be coming up. But anyway, thanks so much for watching my video and more video footage coming up. Mm -hmm.